Hello there, people of YouTube. This is Gibbergan420 here, bringing you yet another review. And, man, you probably have already gotten tired of these, haven't you? But, um, anyways, this is my review on the NEC King Fortress 2 Blue Heavy. The reason why I don't have Red Heavy is because, well, he's like 88 bucks now. I decided to save myself, like, 40, 46 bucks and get the Blue Heavy. Unfortunately, he's not on Big Bad Toy Store, but I still recommend you buy him from anywhere, as long as they guarantee you a good condition on the figure. Now, I don't have the package because, well, back when I got this figure, I didn't really care for the package that much, as I thought it was like a straightforward package. But anyways, let's get on with this figure. As you can see, he right off the bat, he comes with with his with his minigun, Sasha. But to show his articulation a little better, we're gonna have to take Sasha out of his hands. And poor Heavy, he he really he he, he does not like people touching his gun. Okay, so here Heavy is without his gun. He's really hard to get to stand up like this. Like, it's in probably one of the hardest figures of all time to get to stand up. And his legs are so small compared to his to his upper body. It looks a bit awkward, actually. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Let's get on with the articulation. His head moves left and right. Up, up, and down. It's on a ball head, hinge. His arm also, his arms also have some articulation. Swivel like SH figure arts. However, there's a ball, ball pay, a ball hinge in the elbow. I have no idea why. Probably just to add more articulation. Then we have a nicely, a terrible wrist hinge. I'm gonna be honest with you. I dislike this this wrist joint severely, but not as bad as his thigh joint. As you can see, it doesn't even move. Then there's a knee joint, as well as a toe joint. So, I was wondering if this ammo belt is removable. The answer is, yes, it is removable. That crap. Um, the ammo belt is completely removable. Yeah. Here we go. Stand up, Heavy. So, this would be his son ammo belt taken off of him. As you can, as you can already tell, Sasha was one of his is one of his accessories. However, he also comes with some extra hands for holding his shotgun, which his hands are made of some of the worst plastic of all time and, and barely pop out. Pop his hands on you. Really gotta have some force. Force. Otherwise, it's gonna look like this, and the hand is going to come off rather easily. So yeah, that was my review on the Team Fortress 2 NECA heavy action figure. I will put the hand back on. But, uh, yeah, my thoughts on the figure is, it's a great heavy for, really, the only heavies, one of the only heavies out there. But it's still a great figure, and I recommend you buy it. This is Dippy 420, signing off. Uh, see you next time.